Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Mr. Spicy, and we are here again with Workshop Showcase Wednesday, looking again at Empyrean Galactic Survival. And today we are taking a look at a small vessel that's not exactly very small, the Turbine WTF-4 or Turbine What the F***. So, I have got two variations of it here. The first one right here is the way it actually comes out of the blueprint. It has these nice wings on it, but even in the notes, the uh, designer actually states if you make, need to make it more compact, you can take the wings off, which will trim off a little bit of size to it, as you can see. However, this is still a very large vessel. It will take up a very wide cargo bay door if you want to try to put it in. But we are going to take a look at this thing and take a look at all the features it has. Okay, walking in the back cargo door. You can see we already have three armor lockers on the side as well as an O2 station. Everything is nicely color co uh, coded. We've got four constructors also color coded. If you come along to the right side, you can see we have another door that leads right out side again. So this is a drop ship of sorts. We have another armor locker and a cargo box. Going the opposite side, we have another door as leads to the outside well as a cargo box and armor locker we have three fridges right here color coded so i guess uh person number four doesn't get a fridge but that's okay we have an emergency cockpit which is going to be a good thing once we get to the front cockpit you're going to see just how vulnerable this thing can be and if you go in this door we have Shutter door number one and shutter do door number two and there is your core nicely tucked away and secured why you would really need to get to it I don't know but hey that's a nice little feature it is well protected we also have more cargo boxes up here hidden away up above the passenger seats where they would sit as well as our ammo boxes tucked away in here it's got three ammo boxes here which may not seem like a lot. It has a large number of ammo boxes all hidden away throughout the area, providing you a total of 18 small ammo boxes. All right, so this thing has a total of 22 weapons. There's two Gatling guns, four plasma cannons, four pulse lasers, four rail guns, four rocket launchers, and four homing rocket launchers on this thing. So you've got a massive amount of different ammo types you will be putting into this thing if you decide to build it and run with it. Okay, moving up to the front, we have two passenger seats as well as the main cockpit. Now, looking up, you can see that this is all just glass. Uh, so if you get uh, attacked pretty heavily at the front, you're going to lose that glass quickly. You, that is why there is the emergency cockpit here, as we saw, that you can actually pilot everything from back here in much better safe conditions because you have a lot of hardened steel around you okay looking at the front you can see we have our two gatling guns right in the front along with four pulse lasers two on each side going up above you can see we have our rocket launchers mounted up above going to the side we have our plasma cannons and our homing rocket launchers two on each of the wings and then we have our four rail guns there. So you have a good spread as far as the weapon layout that you don't have to worry about targeting only in one small area. But depending on what you're using, you may have to get used to where that weapon actually is being targeted from. Okay, now that night is falling, I'm going to show you one of the features I really like about this. You can see just how much light it's producing on the sides. You have four total spotlight cubes on the front of the ship itself you have one on each side above your access doors and then you have one on the back providing a huge amount of light for it to be a mobile work base or as it's designed a drop ship now coming outside on each of these side doors you have an oxygen station so if you're using this with a faction or just playing with some friends you don't have to have them running back inside all the time to get some O2. They can come right there outside the door and get it. And that's all the same on both sides of this vessel. If you are down on a planet and you're running back to this ship trying to escape an attack, they have placed a shutter door right above the main cockpit, allowing you easy access 
right in to the controls. All right, now this vessel is pressurized, so you can come inside and work within here with no helmet on because it does have ventilators for oxygen. It's got plenty of RCS, plenty of thrusters, so mobility is not an issue with this. And we've already seen it's got a ton of guns. Now, some of the cargo boxes are tucked away, but it's got a total of 14 cargo boxes for this. And as I said earlier, the designer actually did say you can go ahead and take the wings off, which there are two pieces at the back and then one on the front sides and then one on the top of each side. And you can see that it does cut down height a little bit, but it also helps a lot with the width of the ship if you need to fit in a smaller cargo space. However, because of the overall size, I think you're going to need a fairly large landing pad rather than a cargo bay to put this on if you want to carry it with you on a capital ship. This also has a pretty decent amount of power storage and performance. As you see, I have currently at full flight, just flying straight around 51 minutes, and that's at full power capacity. Okay, so now stationary without moving, but not turning thrusters or anything like that off. I'm getting just shy of 12 hours of power life on this uh, at full capacity. So if you were to cut off your thrusters and such, you'll be able to extend that more uh, and just, you know, go in and take your time. They've already got the LCDs constructors set separately, but you can make your own group to give yourself a low power mode and extend that even further. The good turn ratio, as well as the good side to side movement, will allow you to be fairly maneuverable, especially against turrets that are more of a slow fire rate, such as plasma turrets and such. As you can see, I'm having no problem strafing the command carrier we had in a previous workshop showcase episode. Now, the only thing about this design I would change, and as you can see right here, there are three landing gears but there is no docking pad. So if you do wish to dock this to a capital vessel or just a base, you will want to put some docking pads on here and maybe change these up a little bit. Now for a good size comparison, you can see with the wings, how large this thing is, even compared to the Avenger, which I have used in both my survival and in a previous workshop showcase. And this is a very large cargo bay door here. And you can see that that would probably not even managed to make it in there considering that it's extending slightly over the runway lines on the outer edges now taking the wings off this would be able to fit in something like that but that is a massive massive cargo bay door so you're going to have to have a very massive cargo bay to put this thing in there or just a very large docking pad area like command carrier has here Okay, so once again, this is the Turbine WTF-4. I will have a link below in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Uh, my final verdict on this is if you're going to build it, unless you have a really large landing pad, you're probably going to have problems uh, finding a place for it, even if you take the wings off of it. Beyond that, this is a very well-designed ship. It's got a great design to it, a great feel to the way it looks. I love the way the design is actually laid out the aesthetics of it. It also flies extremely well, is very well armed, got plenty of room for stockpiling ammo in it, plenty of cargo space, you got constructors, so this can be almost a mobile base in its own regard, by itself. Now, single player, I don't think you're going to need something this extensive. You can certainly find something a little smaller that will do the same thing for you. However, if you are part of a group of people playing some friends together or a faction, this could very well be a extremely useful uh, small vessel for you to use because of the cargo capacity, the ammo capacity, the overall form and function of it. So once again, this is the Turbine WTF-4. You can find it on the Steam Workshop. I'll have a link for it below. You can build the original version or you can build it and then remove the wings from it. Of course, customize it to your liking. If you're going to use it in your game, make it set up the way you want it to be. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to also hit subscribe and tick the notification bell if you haven't already done that. Because I am posting six days a week, so you've got plenty of content coming your way. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And just say hi. Hit me up with a comment below. Say hi on Facebook. Say hi on Twitter. I'd love to hear from you. 
And as always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. This is Workshop Showcase Wednesday with Imperium Galactic Survival, and I will see you guys in the next video.